Are you tired of feeling used and unappreciated right after you sleep with a man? Does it feel like the moment you finally give yourself to him, the dynamic switches instantly? But did you realize you can actually gain that control back? Today's your lucky day because on today's show, we're going to discuss how to get your power back from a man after you've made mistakes in the relationship. That way, you never, ever have to chase a man down again. First things first, you need to withdraw. If you're going to actually be the prize, you need to treat yourself like a prize. Meaning, if you're the prize, that inherently means you're a reward for good work, hard work, consistency, whatever. And if you are the prize, that also means people do not get you if they are not doing the right things, um, if they are reacting or responding negatively, you need to be taking yourself away from him the same way you would take away a prize or a reward or a reward from someone who is not doing the right thing. So in this case, because you are the prize, access to you also becomes the prize inherently. Your superpower as a woman is the ability to get men specifically to move and shake things for you without you actually having to lift a finger. It's a superpower, truthfully. And allowing him to come to his own realizations, reach out to you, ask for forgiveness, and figure out how he's gonna make things right. That means you're not texting. That means you're not calling. That means you're not texting back. That means you're not calling back. But the only thing that you're really ever going to respond to is an acknowledgement of what he did and him asking for forgiveness, as well as telling you what action he will take to try to make this work or try to resolve this issue when you're trying to withdraw your energy and even in this entire process you're going to have the guys push back against that because they don't want to return to the dynamic in which you're in power you're trying to present the feeling to him that because of what he did to you because of how he treated you because of how he mistreated you in this scenario you have become disinterested in him and your disinterest in him has led you to move on from him where you're not watching his stories, you're not texting him, you're not calling him, you're not trying to do anything with him because you don't care. Number two, I want you to mute him, which essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna stop you from seeing any of his stories or his posts on your timeline. When you withdraw, you're also gonna be in pain because you're gonna want to reach out to him or talk to him, especially if during this time he's texting you or reaching out to you. So you're going to naturally be urged and motivated to just be like, you know what, I'll just send him this message. You know what, I'll just tell him what's on my mind. I don't want you to be tempted to send him a message or to put yourself in any more pain by seeing what he's doing or who he's doing it with or where he's doing it. All of those things can easily trigger you and send you down a spiral every time you see his story, especially if he knows you're a serial story watcher or a serial post watcher where you like to watch his story as soon as he posts it. You damn near have his notifications on. You have hit more of his notifications on than you have of my notifications. And I'm trying to help you. And what they're going to do is instead of reaching out to you, instead of apologizing for what they did, they're going to actively try to put you in more pain to see if they can call your bluff. OK, see, this is why I say the men aren't going to let go of the power easy. You have to understand everyone's fighting for power. I'm going to reach out to her and beg for her forgiveness uh, because I like her. No, what he's going to say is before I do that, I'm going to put her in pain, make her feel uncomfortable by having her see my stories, having her see me go out with so and so, having her see me go out with my boys and this and that and having fun, make it look like I forgot about her, that she'll then reach out to me. And then what will happen? I'll be back in control because even if she reaches out, out to me and she tells me why she's upset I can deny her being upset or I can tell her she's wrong for being upset either way I don't have to acknowledge that I want her so badly that I want to be forgiven for what I did to her okay you do not want to allow guys to escape without acknowledging that they wronged you and asking and begging even for your forgiveness. You wanna basically give him no other options 
in terms of accessing you other than to do it that way. Thirdly, throw away every single memento, picture, memory that you have with this guy. If you uh, are have a weak stomach, probably plug your ears for this part because I need you to come to the realization that some of the guys you're trying to gain your power back from we're not interested in you in the first place. I told you to cover your ears if you have a weak stomach. You throw away his clothes, throw away if he get if he has left his underwear with you, throw it away. If he's got his favorite snacks in in your kitchen, throw them away. Don't cook his favorite meal cuz it'll remind you of him. Once again, you don't want to be tempting yourself and you don't want to be putting yourself in pain feeling like, "Uh, no, uh I'm with, I'm supposed to be withdrawing, but you know, it, it would feel so good to just message him <laughs> and maybe he hasn't been getting cell service this entire time and <laughs> and maybe there's a possibility that he, he, he he's been messaging me hundreds of times and <laughs> and because my phone at the at that particular time hasn't had service, maybe 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 his hundreds of messages just haven't been coming through and maybe if I send him a message it'll stimulate his cell service in his cell tower and then and then he'll realize that I've been reaching back to him even though he's been no 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 look in my face and remember my voice and print this in your in your mind forever it's not a mistake that he hasn't reached out to you it's not a mistake that he hasn't apologized to you you also want to detach yourself from the idea that this is going to continue I know that sounds painful and I know some of you don't want to hear that this is the part where it's going to be very painful for all of you so but some of you who are trying to gain your power back in the relationship are going to come to the realization when you withdraw that the guy that you wanted or the guy that you thought you were building with was never actually interested in you in the first place, which is why when you withdraw, nothing happens. So that's why I want you to throw it away and throw his memories and pictures away so that you can detach yourself from the idea that this has to end in him reaching out to you, apologizing for everything, and then you guys get back together and are together forever, okay? I need you to accept, <gasps> you breathe it in, you soak it in, and accept it as a reality that he might never message you, he might never call you, he might never reach out to you whatsoever, and that might be the last time you ever speak to him or see him again, and that your life will still be amazing and good if that's the case. I actually need you to truly accept that. Number four, I want you to listen to this part very closely because I know some of you are going to do this. And the reason I know is because I hear your stories. I want you to actively avoid putting yourself in a position where you're going to go anywhere that you anticipate he is going to be. This is so vitally important and a lot of you are gonna make this mistake because you're gonna to think to yourself, the best way for me to stimulate him coming to the realization that he really wants me badly is for me to show up somewhere where he's gonna be. I'm here to tell you, as a man, that is the worst thing you can do. Why? Because remember, what did I say at the very beginning about withdrawing and what you're trying to do by withdrawing and doing this all in general? You're trying to stimulate him coming to his own realization for himself that he wants to be with you and he wants to be your your partner and he wants to be your your man and he wants to do right by the situation. And because he wants to do right by the situation, what's going to happen is he wants to figure out a solution. He wants to figure out a resolution. He wants to figure out what he can do to make this situation right. You do not want to put yourself in a position where he can not have to simply come to the realization and reach out to you because he wants that forgiveness and because he wants that resolution. See, the thing about it is, if you allow yourself to be seen or spotted in a public place or wherever it is that you meet him, a party, a friend group, a gathering, what's going to happen is rather than him ha actually having to make the choice of saying, hey, I want to be with you. Hey, I apologize for what I did. Hey, I wronged you. And how can I fix this? How can I make this better? I don't I don't want you to withdraw anymore. What's going to happen is if he sees you at a party, he's going to be like, yo, what's your problem, girl? Yo, why are you trying to ignore me? You think you're too cool for me now, right? He's basically going to circumvent having to apologize for what he did or acknowledge what he did and just kind of see what buttons he can press to get you triggered again that you'll become increasingly or go back to being invested in him. So he's not going to come out and see you at the party and say, I, I, I apologize so much for everything that I did. I apologize that, you know, I, I treated you wrong. No, he gets to skip that step while still getting access to you. And for a lot of you, I know 
And don't worry, you're not a bad person because it all happens to all of us. For a lot of you, it's a lot harder <laughs> to not fold, especially when you're seeing them in person. And I actually want you to like be looking ahead in your life and thinking, what are the chances and the odds that I'm going to see this guy there? Number five, I want you to anticipate. He is not going to, listen to me, he's not going to let go of this easy. He's not going to make it easy for you to withdraw your energy either. This is something very interesting that um, people do, not even just men, but people do. Rather than actually acknowledging what he did wrong or, you know, that he wants to fix this or resolve this, he'll reach out to you with some sort of emergency, whether it be emotional, physical, family, uh, brother, sister. He's going to reach out to you with some sort of emergency that's going to force you to have to respond to him right now in that moment. I don't expect you all to be as cold as me, but I do want you to understand that it is quite convenient for him to have an emergency right around the time that you finally withdrawn from him. I know this is going to sound very cold, but if you actually want to gain your power back, you cannot respond to those emergencies. I, I, I know, listen, I know it's going to make you feel like a bad person. I know it's going to make you feel like a horrible human being, but I need you to understand the only way people respect you is when you demand your respect and you don't waver on that respect. It is so vitally important that people understand when they disrespect you, there is no way out except to apologize and truthfully be remorseful, remorseful and take action towards uh, creating a resolution. You need to train the guys that you're talking to that it is absolutely 100% positively serious when you feel disrespected or you feel mistreated and you withdraw your energy. This is not a joke. This is not a drill. This is not something you can joke your way out of. This is not something you can laugh your way out of. This is not something you can gift your way out of. You need to actually genuinely be remorseful and you need to actually figure out what actions you're going to take in order to make this situation uh, okay again. And those actions actually have to be real and genuine and specific, not just vague. If he's reaching out to you over the phone, there's a 100% chance he could get access to someone who could help him quicker and more efficiently than you can. If he's in a physical emergency, I 100% guarantee you calling 911 and getting an ambulance there will be much faster than getting you there. Convenient that he didn't have enough. He didn't have enough thought of you to reach out to you uh, and apologize for what he did to you or to try to make the situation right. But all of a sudden you popped right into his brain when things were going wrong in his life. See, this is, I need, hmm. number six is detach. Because the truth of the matter is, if you just want him back in your life for the sake of not being lonely anymore, you're gonna have the same problem. And so everything you worked for will be useless. If you don't detach from the guy, you're gonna be in so much pain, you're gonna wanna check the stories, you're gonna give in, right? And you're gonna fold. I really want you to listen to this because this is very sad and tragic. When you try to get your power back and you try to withdraw your energy only for you to fold halfway Way through this process and allow him back into your life without doing the uh, taking the proper necessary steps to be in your life anytime from that point on that you attempt to withdraw your energy he's not going to take you seriously not only will you have thrown away everything you've been working for but you will also make it so much harder for yourself to set boundaries in the future. And so instead, you're going to find yourself in a position where you literally have to send long text and long voice notes and tell them a hundred times to act the right way instead of just being able to simply withdraw your energy and get him to act the right way. Detach yourself from the outcome that this has to end in you guys being together. And it's okay if this doesn't end in you two being together. Your life is still good and amazing and awesome and plentiful and abundant without him in it, especially if um, without a guy who's not prepared to treat you the right way in it. When you come to that realization, it will make it a lot easier for you to deal with 
the anxiety that you might feel as time goes on and he's not messaging you does he like you and is he is he interested in you enough that he's going to be the one apologizing and begging for your forgiveness and trying to fix this and make this better or are you so interested in him and want him so badly that you're prepared to do anything to make this situation right it, it literally becomes a battle of wills that way now here comes the adjustment because it's not just enough for him to say i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry you also need him to have some sort of course of action or some sort of plan to resolve this. Let, let's just say for the sake of example, he uh, was constantly messaging you talking about, oh, let's go out, uh, on Tuesday. Uh, we'll go out and we'll go, we'll go to a museum. I really want to go to this museum. And every time he plans a date with you to go to the museum, every time the day of, he never messages you back and he's just gone, poof, in the thin air. And you become so upset with that. You're like, look, I'm not dealing with that. I'm not going to be with the man who can't properly plan or schedule a date. And I'm not going to be with the man who can't hold his word on stuff. And so you withdraw your energy because you're sick of dealing with that and you're not going to beg him to be that. So after that, after you withdraw your energy and he says, you know what? I apologize. I shouldn't have stood you up. Um, and I'm never going to do that again. I, I, I want to make this better. Um, from now on, when we plan and we schedule a date, we're I'm going to put it in my calendar. I'm going to make sure that we're on time and I'm going to send you a follow up text the night of and the day before to make sure we're still on and it will never happen again. Whatever situation that was leading me to forget these dates that we had planned, I'm going to make sure I actually take steps towards changing that so I don't continuously forget. It can't just be him apologizing, saying, I'm sorry for forgetting all our dates and then moving forward. OK, you always want the guys to be in a position where Yes, they're ready to they're ready to make this better. Yes, they're ready to uh, they, they want that forgiveness and they don't want you to withdraw anymore. Now that they're open to hearing from you what you want and what you expect, I don't necessarily want you to do the job of telling him how he should make an adjustment. But I want you to tell to let make it be clear that if there's not some sort of plan or course of action to the adjustment being made, then you're not interested in, a, in an apology and then you leave it there. So you allow him the space to say, OK, this will be the course of action. This process is all about giving guys the space to feel like they came to their own realization, to feel like they reached out to you because they wanted to reach out to you and then to uh, give them the tool just set the groundwork that they can feel like oh okay no this is the answer i found the answer look i found the answer don't you like my answer and you say oh that's that's yeah that's something that, that could work and they go okay i happy are you happy yeah sure i'm okay and they're like they're like a golden retriever they're like a good they're like a like a dog right they're so happy that you're happy now right and they're so happy that you're in approval of what they're doing right and you're also training him to actually have to do the work of thinking to himself having the critical thinking skills okay this was an issue. Uh, me and my girl do not want this to be an ongoing issue. I have to be a man and think on how to resolve the issue. What are the possible solutions to the issue? See, if he's not actually super serious about building this relationship with you, this part will be a struggle to come up with some sort of adjustment and plan and course of action for the future. He'll be like, uh, but I already said sorry. Isn't sorry enough? I told you I'm sorry. What do I have to do now? 